Okay, turning to my first point, the perception that drugs are a problem in Hong Kong among teenagers. If you read newspaper reports, or if you look on government websites, you would believe that drug abuse is rampant in secondary schools, especially in the new territories. CNN, the international broadcaster, recently ran a report that talked about a 16-year-old Hong Kong boy making two phone calls for delivery, one for pizza, the other for the drug ketamine. In another case, two teenage girls were found semi-conscious in a car park after overdosing on ketamine, and, finally a 13-year-old boy joined a gang and was given free ketamine. Okay, these are all serious cases, but do they represent the reality of Hong Kong teenagers? If I were to ask for a show of hands in this room of those who have taken drugs, perhaps just one person would raise their hand, and he or she is twice the age of all of us. So, I doubt whether abuse of illegal drugs is such a serious problem in Hong Kong. Okay, in my next point, I'd like to look at some evidence of illegal drug abuse in Hong Kong. I think the best sources from the Narcotics Division of the Security Bureau in the HKSA are government. The data from that organization does not show any big increases in drug use, and actually, for those under 16, and those between 16 and 20, the number of users has gone down in recent years. Also, if you look at absolute numbers, in 2010, there were 148 new ketamine users among males under 16 years old. While this is 148 too many, in terms of the total population in Hong Kong, the number is actually very small. If we look at users for other drugs, the numbers get extremely low, for example, there were 20 new users of cannabis among both males and females, 